Hey guys, what's going on? Zach here today and I have another awesome Vulse tutorial for you guys. In this one I'm going to finally get around to showing you guys how to make strange matter. That highly sought after material that we all want in the Vulse mod pack. Um, this one is, this tutorial is going to be done a little bit differently. I'm not actually going to show you guys uh, me building this so as to give myself more time to talk to you guys and explain how this works and to hopefully be able to capture some results uh, on camera. Uh, pretty much, like I said when I showed you guys how to make antimatter, this is merely a modification of the Large Hadron Collider. Pretty much whatever it does is used to in the Volts Mod Pack. I don't believe it does at the moment. But used to to yield um, strange matter, you had to have two particle accelerators colliding particles into one another. Um, I believe in the state that um, the Volts Mod Pack is in now, it is now pretty much that whenever the particle that's being formed by the particle accelerator it lo it's um, um, it's pretty much just taken out of the isolation of the uh, of the collider and now pretty much whenever a particle is loose it will explode like you can see uh, in front of me the particle will explode and apparently this has a small chance of uh, dropping antimatter um, it took me a while to figure this out because I was tinkering with the, um, uh, with the method of colliding two particles together, and I just never did get any results. So, um, pretty much this is the setup for generating, uh, strange matter. Wait, is that it? No, not yet. Uh, yeah, it does take a while. It does take an, an, an a, mass, a massive amount of energy. In all honesty, you should, if you're going to have these, you should uh, power these with uh, fusion reactors. It would have made more sense for me to make the video to show you guys how to make a fusion reactor, but I got excited when I figured this out, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Um, so pretty much all you need is a five-long tunnel of either electromagnets or electromagnetic glass. Um, the particle accelerator itself, a power source, and I have uh, three advanced battery box, uh, three advanced battery boxes, uh, all with infinite batteries in them, uh, powering both of my particle accelerators. Uh, like I said, you should probably power this with a, um, a fusion reactor, but like I said, I didn't have one. Um, and pretty much just let these run as long as you absolutely need to, um, it will consume quite a lot of dirt. But, you know, dirt's really common, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. Um, and yeah, this is just going to keep going, and it's going to keep exploding at the end until it um, uh, generates uh, strange matter. Uh, so, because I haven't seen any yet, um, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll start back up when um, some strange matter has generated. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can see here at the end of the channel, um, some strange matter has finally formed. Uh, let me take a look. After I paused the video, that was a mere seven minute wait. Um, I'm actually quite astonished. I was starting to get a little worried. Um, but yes, this is a really, really simple setup uh, to, I wouldn't say mass produce strange matter, but simply, but uh, absolutely a very simple way to do it. Um, one thing to note is that I believe the chance of uh, a strange matter piece dropping is about 5%. So I did the math, and out of a stack of dirt, 5% uh, of 64 is um, only like 3 decimal 2, so roughly you will get about three pieces of strange matter for every uh, stack of dirt that you supply the particle accelerator with. Uh, so, I guess that about, that about does it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a lot of fun um, creating this strange matter and blowing your enemies to bits. Um, if you, uh, you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. It really does help me a lot. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. My name is Zach, and I will see you guys later.